and howdy do <laughs> so again uh, so I have this one I haven't tried before the 2.0 stone ruination their revamped version of uh, eight and a half 100 plus IBUs it says, but mostly I want to show off my new bottle opener. <laughs> my birthday is Sunday. This is Friday, uh, but uh, my grandkids gave me this as number one grandpa. See, look at that. Bottle goes upside down. It's got a magnet on the back here. Bottle goes upside down. Woo, it goes fizzy to the top. And that darn clever. Anyways, I'm easily amused. There's <laughs> My new, uh, see if I, oh, I was trying to get that so I'd pose up there, but I can't get it to stay. Sorry. There we go. We'll get it in a spot here. <laughs> and anyways, I digress. Yeah, I'm, I'm outside. I use all kinds of props. Here we go. I run a professional program. Uh, I'm using my glass here, my dogfish head glass that I got from the one and only Mark Pyle from Erie Better Beer Brew. And I have one of the, oh, I have the Sierra Nevada version of that so-called IPA glass <laughs> just signed by Dogfish Head in Sierra Nevada. And I like it fine. It's kind of thin. But this really is becoming my favorite glass, especially for IPAs and double IPAs. For some reason, I really feel the aroma is better from this glass than even that IPA glass. This is really beautiful for catching aromas. Uh, wow, it's just nice. This has nice aromas. Um, let me read just a touch from their bottle here. When Stone Ruination IPA first hit the scene in 2002, ales filled the resinous humulus, bleh, humulus lupulus were few and far between. Uh, not so today. Yeah, I mean th that is true. When they that one first came out, and, and I think it's it was it was a smart move on their part to try to revamp and and come back with something slightly different. The aromas on this are they're big and bright just well what it, almost every double ipa these days are doing with a small handful of exceptions it's a very light and body that's a beautiful golden uh bright grapefruit on the nose a little bit of pine and a whole lot of uh, tropical fruit along with some tangerine as well mm. well i'm getting wow <laughs> That's nice, man. I'm getting, I'm getting more pine on the palate than I was on the nose, which is very big up front. I can get a lot of that huge uh, pine, uh, some peppery notes as well. Some little light spicy notes dancing on your tongue. Uh, I'm certainly getting some of those tropical fruit notes as well mixed in there. Uh, picking up hints of mango. I'm certainly getting that tangerine and grapefruit that I mentioned earlier. Might be some pineapple floating around there. Who the hell knows? <laughs> My only issue with it, I really don't have an issue to be honest. The, the only issue is that a lot of these are kind of starting to taste the same. Um, it seems like everybody's coming out with this very light bodied IPA again with this handful of exceptions uh Piney River Mule Team being one of them still doing that great big malty you know very resinous pine IPA double IPA uh but this is this is where the trend is going so um there you go I guess I drank a little bit so you can't tell I didn't notice before I've, yeah, I've had this glass for a few months now for some reason I never paid attention there's a line on the back <laughs> when I pour the bottle it goes right to the line that's a 12 ounce line so I imagine it holds a pint and I pour 12 ounces in. Nothing gets by me. I'm a genius. Bottom line is, it, it's it's the beer for the current crop of hopheads out there. If you want that that trendy taste that's out there right now, if you want those big tropical fruit notes as opposed to the old school pine and grapefruit, then this is a double IPA for you. It's pretty simple. You know, if, if those flavors aren't your thing you're not going to dig it the thing is either way whether you like this style or you, or you or you like this this type of double ipa or not you can't argue the quality the quality and the craftsmanship that went into this ipa double ipa just keep saying ipa double ipa is, is just spot on so hey i'm trying to bear whisper and i'll talk to you later